Hi guys, it's Mrs. Russo. I'm going to read you a quick story called The Shoemaker and the Elves, rewritten by Margaret Mortensen and illustrated by Amy Barrett. You have to see the, the cover page. A man looking very surprised with some nice looking uh, shoes. The Shoemaker and the Elves. All right. Jonas Cobbler kept a tiny shoemaker shop on the first floor of a three-story brick building in a big city. The tiny sign, Shoemaker, could barely be seen. The window was usually filled with Jonas's carefully crafted shoes, but lately the window is often empty. Jonas's dear wife, Rose, had been sick, and after paying for the doctor and the medicine, there wasn't enough money left for leather to make many shoes. Late one night, Jonas cut his last piece of leather to make a pair of brown and white oxfords. He was very tired, but he had to finish them because the mayor was coming in the morning to look for some shoes. Jonas stretched and yawned, put his head down on the workbench, thinking he might rest his eyes for just a minute on the different type of shoes that he makes. Maybe just taking a quick rest. Have you ever just thought you're gonna take a quick rest and then you take a long nap? Oops, I've done that. The morning sun was just peeping through the window when Jonas woke with a start and rubbed his eyes. He couldn't believe what he saw. A fine new pair of brown and white Oxford shoes shone in the early morning light. He grabbed the shoes and examined the stitching. Every stitch was straight and tight. The shoes were perfect. Rosie, Rosie, come here quick, he called. Rosie hurried down the room, yawning and brushing her hair. Look, during the night, someone finished my shoes, he said. Who could have been so kind? She asked as she touched the stitches, admired the shine, and carefully placed them in the window. Soon, the little bell over the door jingled as the dapper mayor strode into the shop. Say, Jonas said the mayor in his usual loud voice. Say, Jonas, I want to try on those fancy shoes you have in the window. He put them on and tied them just so. I've never seen any so fine, he said. As he looked in the mirror, he paid handsomely for them. Then he left proudly wearing the shoes. I wonder who made these shoes. With the extra money, Jonas was able to buy enough shiny red leather for two pairs of high-heeled shoes. He cut them out carefully that night and began to stitch and tap. But before long, his eyes lids grew heavy, so he put his head down to rest for a minute. I don't know. Do you guys think he rested for just a minute? Suddenly, the morning light woke him. There, before his eyes, were the prettiest shoes he had ever seen. He laughed <laughs> and danced around holding the two stylish pairs of high-heeled shoes. Then he placed them on the display in the sunny window. That day, two young ladies in very fine clothes bought the new shiny red shoes and wore them as they left the shop. Do you guys love that feeling when you get a new pair of shoes and you put them on and feel so happy? Jonas had more money to purchase shiny, supple black leather, enough for four pairs of boots. Jonas carefully cut out four pairs of boots and laid the leather on his workbench. He yawned and stretched, and he soon fell asleep. Classic Jonas, as we learned. Sure enough, in the morning, four pairs of shiny, supple boots filled his entire window. The bell rang all morning as customers hurried in to try on the wonderful black boots. Before long, people were coming from all over the city to buy, buy the fine shoes found in Jonas's window. Jonas and Rose were becoming quite prosperous. One day, Rose stood in the doorway looking thoughtful. Jonas, let's watch tonight and see who makes all the beautiful shoes. That night, Rose and Jonas tiptoed down the stairs and peeked through a crack in the hall doorway. 
What do you think they saw in that doorway? <gasps> to their great surprise, they saw two happy little elves bent over the shoes, tapping and sewing. As they worked, they sang. Work is easy if we share. Work is easy if we care. Work is fun for everyone. We work together and get it done. Maybe that's the next song I need to sing when I'm doing my chores around the house. Hmm. Jonas whispered, Rose, those tiny elves have been sewing for each night. But look, they are dressed in rags. Jonas and Rose tiptoed up the stairs. We must show them how grateful we are. Let's make something nice and warm for them to wear. All the next day, Rose cut and sewed. She fashioned the finest little suits you can imagine, vests and coats and trousers, even little felt fedora hats. And Jonas made the elves some shiny brown leather shoes. Just before midnight, they carefully laid the outfits on the work table and then they hid them behind the door. Oh, and then they hid behind the door. Probably to see the elves' expression. As the clock struck 12, the little elves entered. They looked all around for the leather to make shoes. When they saw the new clothes, they held them up curiously. Then they tried them on. To their delight, everything fit just right. They giggled and danced around and admired each other in the mirror. And the little elves danced out the door and never returned. People still come all over the city to buy the fine shoes from the tiny shop. And now while the shoemaker and his wife are tapping and stitching, you can hear them sing. Work is easy if we share. Work is easy if we care. Work is fun for everyone. We work together and get it done. The end. That story was so good and I love that song. Working together really is the way to go, right? When we work together, we get a lot more done and we have a fun time with our friends, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Thank you.